Okay. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Joseph Silva. I'm a junior studying mechanical engineering and technology. <laughs> I am up here today because, or well, tonight, because I would like to be Shed's next treasure. Okay. So with that being said, I personally think and believe that I'm a good fit for the position. Why? Because first of all, I'm a team player. Second of all, I I have the experience for being held accountable for funds, for certain budgets, for money. Uh, I have gotten the I have gained the experience from my family's business. Uh, from there, we do we sell cars, okay. So from there, we do in-house financing, okay. So therefore, I am shop's manager. I do a lot of things for the. What connects with uh, being a treasurer is doing, uh, taking payments from the clients, okay? Monthly, I look at handling roughly 10 to $11,000 a month. Uh, with that being said, I also have to know how to build a, uh, a strong relationship with my client. Why? Because if I don't build it, then what happens <laughs> in the future? We don't have a future business with them, families, members, so we have to make sure you want to build a strong communication with your team. And I, I'm, I'm going to compare that, my client, to my team that I will be working with, hopefully, uh, 2017 to 20, 2018. Um, with that being said, I have been part of Chef for two years now. Um, I have helped Jose Mendez execute and make sure we uh, make sure professional events run smoothly. Um, including resume critiques, uh, mock interviews. And even though they do not really connect being a treasurer, it has helped me really to see what it takes to make sure a certain event runs smoothly, right? So, now that, oh, okay. thank you. Thank you. taking five courses for next semester, right? Yes, sir. And you're also a junior. Um, but what concerns me is, is your GPA be able to to manage that and, and give you focus to your GPA? Because at the end of the day, we're here to get our education. You're right. And, you know, set ourselves up for success and, and our next step to okay. start our career in whatever it is we pursue, right? I'm glad you asked. The reason why, um, so, I, for three years ago, as you will see, or I will mention, I was a dance director for 45 dancers, meaning I used to execute dance performances, teach 45 dancers, making sure we all have the same costume, uh, organizing events, uh, running practices, meaning those practices would, depending on the competition, it's got, honestly, I was really, really passionate towards it. So our, our practices would run about three to four hours. So by the time I would get to my school, I did, I did do the mistake of not prioritizing it, right? So. Once I got to my books, honestly, I was tired, right? So that did, and it obviously respect to that, and it's bad for me, but it did teach me a lot, a lot of leadership skills, right? So next semester, I now prioritize school. I only, I am a full-time student, as you see, five classes, two, two classes in the summer. Um, I prioritize school, and I only help my family business part-time. So I do look forward in giving more than 150% to this position and to my books. Um, so as a treasurer, you will have a lot of very enthusiastic people come up to you that, uh, with really great ideas. Unfortunately, some of these ideas uh, may not be implemented due to budget constraints, right? Correct. How do you plan to reject these ideas from certain chairs and from certain e-boards uh, without, and this is very important, without creating any type of friction? Okay, so for say, Right? Let's say we are, I'm already in the e-board, right? And you are Mavi, right? We, or Mavi tells me, hey, Joseph, uh, we would like to make this event happen, mm -hmm. and it's going to cost, I don't know, $150, right? And I mean, I look back to my Excel sheet or whatever software I'm using to run my budget, to keep everything organized, and I'm going to say, okay, well, sorry, Mavi, um, but I do consider your idea because obviously we cannot, being a team, you cannot say, oh, that's the right idea, or we're not gonna do this, or we're gonna do whatever I say, right? So we have to know how to consider everyone's ideas and thoughts to make sure we consider it, maybe not for this year, 
due to uh, budgets, but maybe for next year, right? Because not, like what, what, what teachers say to us, not every uh, question is not a stupid question, right? So same thing, any thought is not a dumb thought. It's a very, especially working as a team, we have to consider one second, everyone's configuration. Other questions? Mm -hmm. Thank you.